Today's video is made possible through the support of Andy Larkin and dozens of other Patreon supporters just like you. If you like this kind of thing and like what I do, check out the links below in the description and see how you can help support. Thank you. Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to today's Captain's Blog. We're in a hydroelectric power plant and I'm going to share some of this with you guys. But the first thing I got to do so that you can hear what I'm saying is we're going to turn off the entire power plant so that we can get some real audio. That is so cool. <laughs> Alright guys, so I am out here today at a big ass power plant because they blew a fuse. And this fuse is not the kind of thing you want to go messing around with. This is a 14,400 volt fuse rated for 200 amps. So that's a lot of watts. And those of you who followed the Captain's Vlog and the High Voltage Lab videos will remember a couple of these that I actually have in the High Voltage Lab and uh, they're off in a storage unit now, which would have been really handy, but they had to go special order a refill for this. So we're going to actually get to do the full rebuild on this fuse right here. And you guys get to see this, which is pretty cool. And I get to share this stuff. Okay. So we're gonna load our new element. Yep, that's the right direction. So see this big spring with the orange dingus on it? That orange is your indicator when this fuse blows. Let's just take a minute and realize how cool it is that they just shut down an entire power plant so that I could do this job because that makes us about a billion times safer because this fuse goes on one of the outputs for the power plant. So that's our... Oh wait, we dropped that right down in there. Now, see the red stripe? See how it says blown? When this is sitting there, that's a visual indicator that the fuse is blown. So we're going to screw this in up on top. So now we're charged. And now it looks like it's blown, but when I take this and pull this down, that cocks the fuse. So I'm going to check the instructions and make sure we do this right. So here's how you cock your fuse. You put that on the floor, you step on it. Okay. Yep, we're cocked. So this is now under a lot of tension. There's a really big spring in there and you can see our red band is now down here. And there's no way to take that out without a lot of dicking around. You'd have to unscrew this and all that. You don't want to do that. So this is this is a one-shot deal, literally. So we're good there. I'm going to untie this. And you untie it, you don't cut it, because if something fails and that snaps back in there and you got to pull it back down, you're going to want this cord again. So... You set that aside. I'm super paranoid with this stuff because if you do it wrong, it's really expensive and it takes days to get a new part. So you want to be kind of careful with it. Ah. Okay, so that's in. And I'm going to grab a wrench in a minute and tighten this all up. But this, this is the thing I wanted to show you guys. This is a real fuse. This assembly here is the actual fuse it goes in this will drop in the fuse holder here and it'll rest there like that for a minute and then you grab this with a hot stick and on the end of a very long fiberglass pole you just wham and you set this and slam that in and this actually electrically connects up here and down here and that's your electrical connection 
when the fuse blows, now this one's been in the same spot since the 60s, so this isn't a thing that happens terribly often, which is good, because you don't want to blow large and very expensive fuses like this on a regular basis. When it blows, two things happen. One, all the guts explode down into this container. This, this holds everything together. You've got to clean this out after every time it trips. And this is the actual fuse that's about here-ish. Oh, it's right about there. You can, you can see it on the inside. So this is the actual fuse part here. And you can see where it melted off. When that happens, it's very energetic. And all the schmoo and the Bernie bits shoot out the bottom and get caught in here in the silencer because there's an actual explosion when these go. And this lets the hot gases escape without causing this to rupture. The other thing that happens is our red band, which is now way down here because we pulled that big spring, this spring retracts and it creates a much more open space. It, it extinguishes the arc and it opens it up. And this red band appears up here and that's how you can just be very far away and look into the cabinet and go, yep, cunt's fucked. So that's how you do. Now, I'm going to go and do all kinds of fun things that I can't show you on camera. Um, and we're gonna rock this fuse and get it installed. Smaller, please. So you guys have fun. And when we come back, I'll show you how to turn on an entire hydroelectric power plant, because that's gonna be pretty cool. Have fun. Jesus, that's a sound.
So if you look at this close, this is actually a double worm drive. You can see there's the worm here and the big wheel or the big gear. And the gear here is turning a second worm down in there. And that's turning the really big gear in the back. 